Welcome to Broadcast 51, whenever I need you. connecting well you're not alone there are many people who feel that way that's why we've made this instructional video to give you a few simple tips and pointers to show you how to fit in at almost any church hey, what's up? <laughs> first of all silence your cell phone in church don't smoke in church Don't offer cigarettes to children in church. Don't bring a snake to church. If it's a snake handling church, they'll provide the necessary reptiles. 
Don't play an instrument in church, unless you're a sanctioned member of the worship team. When you pray for someone in church, don't address the prayer to Anubis, Zeus, Gilgamesh, or any other pagan god. Don't practice jujitsu in church. Don't come to church straight from snorkeling. Don't do laundry in church. Don't breed ferrets in church. Don't advertise your business at church, at least not in an obvious way. Don't try to have anyone stoned in church. They don't really do that sort of thing anymore. Don't eat crab legs in church. Unless you brought enough for everyone. See that, that that's wrong. That's don't fact that's check so the ridiculous. pastor's sermon on Wikipedia and then correct him in church. Don't power clean in church. If you follow these basic steps, you really will start to fit in at almost any church. Again! Again! Boy, God love you. He 
He has a plan for you. The Bible said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. For those of you who don't know who Jesus Christ is. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish. But have everlasting life oh, to live forever in the garden, in the heaven garden, the garden of gold streets, where a garden where you see a garden with flowers with many rainbow colors that you can't describe here on earth. Believe it. And the Bible says. Not only did he, up, he, he gave his only begotten son, he said, whosoever believe, whoever believe in him, in Jesus, da, 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 shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Read that verse, folks. You know it. John 3.16. Jesus said, I came that they may have life. What is life, folks? With Jesus, with God breathed in your body, your soul, and your spirit, he gave you life. He want to give you more of it abundantly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're going to live this thing, live it for real, folks. Let go of the things that weigh you down. God wants you to give your all to him. To come completely to him. Not only do you need to stand, but you need to be real. Anything that you got in your life that you feel is uncomfortable with, the Holy Ghost will come pick you. It will let you know, I shouldn't be doing this. This is not holy. I mean, everybody else does it. So, what, uh, it doesn't seem like sin to me, but God said, what seems like sin a man leads to what? Hell. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read that verse, John chapter 10. Verse 10. Another point, man is sinful and separated from God. You all know the story of Adam and Eve in the garden. When Adam and Eve, the first people who lived in the human race became Adam used 100% capacity of his brain compared to our 20% today. And him and Eve, they knew God. They was in his presence every day. So that he walked through the garden. God did every morning. To, 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 to see how his children was doing there. Adam and Eve knew the presence of God. But God loved and God was walking through the garden. You can feel his love. Even the trees waved side to side when God's presence was around. The wind blowed calmly. There was peace in that garden. So they knew the presence of God. And yet, they sinned. And turn their back on God. He said, like we all have done. And we all have thoughts, folks. Or said bad things, which the Bible calls sin. The Bible say, all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. This is Romans 3, 23, folks. The result of sin is death and spiritual separation from God in Romans 6 23. So we must always remember the sin in our life. And if you have sin, then the wages of sin is death, folks. God said you will have spiritual separation from Him. The people who right now in torment and hell, wish they had the opportunity, even in this message, to say, I, I 
wish I could come back to earth and live according to what God said. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want everybody to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being right here in your presence, Lord. Thank you for being right here on this broadcast, Lord. Bringing your word. Bringing your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That's your anointing, Lord. People, you need to reach up and, and just say, God, the Holy Ghost, work in your life. You can feel it. Just hold your hands up and say, Lord, ta -ta 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 -ta, come in my life. Remove the sin in my life. Take the spot out, Lord, that you see in my life. Put your microscope. That's why I need Jesus. Because I know it's the only way to get to you, Lord. To feel your love, your salvation. Folks, we got to be real with this. We can't be pretending to be saved. We can't hold on to things we did when we went saved and not feel condemned. And that goes for the men and the women. And folks, another point I want to say, the good news, folks, the good news about sin, the good news about not being separated from God, God has made a way. He prepared a way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What can you do to get God in your life? Yeah. Hallelujah, folks. Just stand. That's why we need Jesus in our life. So we can stand on his word and live holy. And God sent his son and died for your sins. Jesus died in our place so we could have a relationship with God and be with him forever to be in the heavenly reign. To, to, to talk to God, to meet him in person, in the form that God gives us when we make it to heaven, the new body, the heavenly body, to be able to say, Lord, I'm so glad, glad to be here with you, Lord. Glory to God. God demonstrated his love. God demonstrated his love. His own love toward us. But in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. How many of you know, or how many of you believe that you were sinners in the past? How many of you believe that you are now redeemed? That you now have given your life totally to God? That you have sold out to God? Say, so, Lord, I live before you, regardless of what comes on the earth, regardless of the ending Christ nation, a world, one government, this world government is coming on the face of the earth. And in this city, well, as I just said, this nation of America, the nation under God is supposed to be under God, but have rejected his word, giving all perversion. Passing perversion laws, doing things contrary to the word of God. Stand on God's word, folks. We need Jesus, even if we don't roll with the flow. If we don't, if we don't linger or feel we should come. Uh, let me put it this way: feel we should be with the world, do what the world do. God wants us to separate ourselves because he sent his son to die for our sin so we can be with him. If you have to stand by yourself in front of a million people and say, I stand for Jesus. 
willing, God will honor you. Jesus himself will crown you in heaven. Folks, God anointed me to let you know this message today. I'm not on here to get praises from people. Because if that was true, I would be much uh, ranked higher like some of the mega churches. But no, I'm standing on my own self. My, I'm representing Jesus. But God said, Christ died for our sins. It didn't say man died for our sins. It didn't say America died for our sins. It didn't say the one world government died for our sins. It didn't say money died for our sins. It said Jesus died for our sins and was buried. And he was raised on the third day according to the scripture. That's why we need Jesus. We wake up each day getting up like we don't need Jesus. But we woke ourselves up like saying, Lord, I don't need you. I can make it without you. I got all the money. I got everything I need, Lord. Why do I need Jesus? Well, just die, folks. Just die, and you'll get the answer to that question. Why do you need Jesus? Because without Jesus, you will not be with no more God in heaven. Da, 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 da. Jesus is the only way to God. I know they say many, many, many ways, many religions, Muslim, all these different religions. But God said Jesus is the only way to God. You have to have a relationship with Jesus to get to God. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. In John 14, 6. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I give my life to you daily, Lord. Regardless of what's going on in the world. Not for fame, not for riches, Lord. Humble my heart, Lord. Let me be what you call me to be, Lord. Let me be real, Lord. I ask in the name of Jesus. Those of you people out here right now, Lord, who read this word about Jesus. Why do you need Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. And for all of those of you who like to receive God's forgiveness, pray this prayer today. Say, Dear God, I know I'm a son of Lord. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is, my, is your son. I believe he died for my sins and that you raise him to life. The same way you're going to raise us. To be like him with everybody to live in heaven. I want to trust him as my personal savior and follow him as Lord. Follow him as Lord. From this day forward, guide my life, Lord. Clean and wash me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Just say the name of Jesus. Just say it right now where you at, where you are. Say, Jesus, watch the power of the Holy Ghost. Watch Jesus come in your life today. Make your life renewed. May give you a anointing that you need to fight against the enemy. Guide my life, Lord. Help me be to do your will. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are saved. All you have to do now is ask God to fill you. And I mean fill you with the precious Holy Ghost. And I, I want to thank everyone for joining this program today. And bless you. God, holy name of Jesus. Amen.
Yeah. 